Welcome back to Contextual Electronics. This is a part of the Module 4 of the KiCad uh, tutorial series. And this is all about creating reusable paired schematic symbols. Or said another way, this is actually a way to skip CVPCB. Or said an even different way is this is similar to how you create schematic symbols in Eagle, where the schematic symbols are paired with the footprint. So let's go ahead and pull this up and start looking at it here. So we got an example project that should be blank. Last time I looked. All right, that's good. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a part. Uh, well, first off, let's uh, drop. Let's just go through the flow as it is now, right? So we're going to. Oh, that's the library. Sorry. So we're going to hit uh, A. So we hit A here. Let's move that over a little bit. We're going to pull in a part here. Uh, let's pull one in from our test library. Actually, not the, not the test library, sorry. Let's pull one in from the Circuit Hub library. Nope, that's a bad one, too. Uh, well, let's just pull in a random component. <laughs> uh, how about from the microchip library? All right, so we have parts, you know, a bunch of different parts here. None are associated. Even though this one's listed as the TQFP64, let's actually look at it here. So if we mouse over it and we hit E, we can see even though it has TQFP in the title, it's not associated with the footprint. So if we save the netlist right now, and we'll have to annotate, of course. We hit the netlist, trying to save that, we want to annotate, say yes to annotation, to annotate the entire schematic. Okay, so now if we go over to CB PCB, we see yes, this part, this PIC32 part is in there, but it's actually not associated with any part. So if we wanted to, we'd have to click on it, go down to TQFP, and then actually associate it as a manual process. Okay, so that's one thing. Let's move this out of the way. Now let's say, so we have this test library, the one I pulled up by accident before. Let's actually go into that. So if we open this test library, uh, test, there we go. Okay, so we're in the test library. We're going to create a new component here, and we're going to call it associated, right? For an associated component, we're going to create one with a, with, we'll say, two pins, pin one, pin two. Yeah, you know what? We'll just keep going here. No, that's okay. We'll just call it. We'll call it a two-pin device, but we're actually going to use a different, uh, a higher pin footprint. All right, so two pins right there, right? So we can move this guy over. There we go. All right, so we have a really crappy looking footprint there. We'll hit save. Yep. All right, so now same kind of thing in here. If we pull up that part, test, library, and now associated component. Okay. Same kind of thing. If we If we look at the component, it's not associated. However, if we wanted to create a secondary component here, and let's pull that back up. So this is the library again. We're going to save this as a different component. We're going to call this associated SO8N. All right. Why did we name it that? Well, we named it that because we're going to add the footprint directly to the foot to the, to the symbol. All right. So we're going to associate this footprint. S O 8 8 come on 8 <laughs> N there we go we're going to make this invisible so it's not visible on the schematic we're going to hit save modify the library sure now we're going to drop this one in here as well uh, we're going to drop there we go and now we have both different footprints in here both ugly no problem there though all right, so now we're going to save this. We're going to uh, create a netlist, which is going to also ask, ask us to annotate again. We're just going to give those part numbers. Okay, so now if we go into CVPCB, what we should see is this does not have a footprint associated. This does not have a footprint associated. However, because we save the footprint with this symbol, it should be already associated. And there we can actually see it. So this is not associated. This is not. This one actually is associated. It has an SOA dent. And the way we can <clears throat> the way we can prove that is we can go directly 
into PCB new, we can import the netlist, which we saved without going into CVPCB or doing anything in there. We should see a single SO8N. So if you want to create symbols that have <coughs> footprints already associated with them, I highly first off, I highly recommend that you add the footprint name into the schematic symbols name as well. Or use the manufacturer's part number because often that is encoded into the footprint name as well. But you can you can automatically associate the footprint with the schematic symbol and you can skip the CVPCB step because a lot of people don't like that. Uh, and it is it can be faster. Now it, it can be dangerous as well, but it, it can be faster. And uh, so I hope you found this useful. And uh, remember, you can always still go into CVPCB and you can make this association. You can associate it with just about anything you want to. You can make this a 8-pin. You can make it a 20-pin if you really wanted to. But uh, uh, so if we associate this one with an SSOP8 and this one with a TQFP, you know, we can, we can change this around. We can even change around this one, which we associated already right we can make that one a tqfp 144 however it already starts out as an so8n so i uh, hope you found this useful and good luck in all your layouts and thanks for watching